what we have been doing is we have been developing the Wink system, which is a um, wireless um, platform for detecting neurochemicals in the brain. Um, what we have been been developing is a system that provides this information in real time. It's highly configurable. It's uh, it's a system that actually can be um, utilized in the operating room uh, for the neurosurgeons and the other uh, physicians that are involved in the treatment of the patient. Uh, can monitor what is actually happening happening during deep brain stimulation and can be used for improving the outcomes for the patient. The, the Winx system uh, will be used to optimize treatment. Uh, by measuring the activity of the brain and the, the chemical release that occurs within deep brain stimulation, we're anticipating that that information can then be converted back into um, instructions for the deep brain stimulation equipment to provide a better outcome for the patient. The, the WINK system, as it's been currently developed, has been developed uh, for ultimate use in humans, but at this point in time it has not been used in human trials. It's only been used in animal studies. The data at this point in time show that it's um, a, a very good device that we expect uh, will have a lot of utility uh, for patient care. So deep brain stimulation is a neurosurgical treatment that stimulates the brain with uh, mild electrical signals that causes the brain's electrical and chemical activity to, to change. So DBS causes improvements in the symptoms of a number of conditions, uh, which would include Parkinson's, tremor, epilepsy, depression, and chronic pain. As we look at the collaboration between physicians and engineers, this is an, an incredible opportunity from, from, the, uh, from the perspective of being able to create new devices and new treatments for, uh, for our patients. Um, the engineers are on staff here at, uh, at Mayo Clinic, and so we're available to the medical and the research staff uh, basically at any point in time. And so the engineering staff can be present in the operating rooms, can be present uh, working with, uh, with the patients. And the research and clinical staff have access to the knowledge and the capabilities of a complete engineering staff that uh, are here at Mayo Clinic and have been a part of the clinic's operation for over 60 years. Um, the, the development of the devices um, are, are much improved because the engineers are um, able to, to be a part of the treatment uh, process, can understand what needs to be done, can build devices, and can, they can be brought back uh, to the, uh, the physician and the researchers for really immediate testing. And so therefore, um, the devices that are prepared are much more useful to the actual real-world experiences of the, of the clinical staff.